Hey guys, it's Gary. Special early edition of Dish and Dirt. I told you last week on Dish and Dirt, I was working on something pretty special for y'all. It's ready to go. It's in the show notes. What it is, is I did a podcast this week early, and what it talks about are two problems in the settlement that I think we can fix for you. The first problem is this idea that you should go out and rescind your listing agreements, your buyer representation agreements, and get new ones signed. I don't think that's practical. I think that gives a chance for your client to after trade you or fire you. It's just not a smart decision. I have created a form for you for free that you can use. Everybody you know can use. It's an open source document. It's in the show notes. It's also in the show notes of the uh, podcast. And I go through it in the podcast and tell, talk to you about what it is, how to use it, and why you're using it instead of rescinding your contract. But it's to replace that uh, idea of having to re re replace your contract. What you're going to be able to do is this is going to be an addendum to your agreement, setting forth all the things that need to be set forth in the settlement statement. So I will go through that. That should take care of a big problem for you. Remind you as well, though, you do need to talk with your broker before you get those that done to make sure your broker is OK with that. I don't set policy for your brokerage, though I should, uh, but it's up to you. All All right. The second thing we're going to talk about is how Colorado gave the big middle finger to the settlement, saying that getting a document signed prior to showing a house is in violation of their state law. I'm going to walk you through why I think it's a violation of South Carolina state law. And hopefully we can get that to go away as well. So two big issues we're resolving, plus giving you the free form down below uh, that you can use. But you need to listen to the podcast so you get all the information on, that, on how to use that form before you use it. All right. Hope you all enjoy it. Hope, it puts good, hope, hope you can put it to good use. And I hope you all have a great week.